My name is Bob McKeon, and I'm representing the Office for Social Justice of the Catholic Archdiocese of Edmonton. It's a privilege to be here and to be able to speak a voice for social justice and respect for human dignity. This past week, the Vatican Justice and Peace Council published a statement reforming international financial and monetary systems. The statement addressed many of the issues that we're trying to address here today. Increased inequality within countries and between countries. Amen. The human suffering from the effects of the economic crisis in countries like Canada and especially overseas where we have billions of people lacking the very basics for food, water and shelter. Amen and the absence of ethics in our financial and monetary systems. Amen. The concerns raised in the Vatican note this week are rooted in the official Catholic social teaching as articulated by Pope Benedict. He boldly insists that love, a very powerful word, not only be present in our human relationships, but be embedded in our national and international economic systems. Yeah. Yeah. He uses strong ethical words that are familiar to many of us here. Words like solidarity, respect for human dignity, respect for human workers, a living wage, common good, environmental responsibility, and a priority concern for the poor and those on the margins and the importance of everyone being able to participate in the economic and political decisions that so much affect our lives. He sees the roots of our present global crisis as primarily moral and insists that the economy needs ethics, especially a people-centered ethic. The Vatican note this week proposes to people around the world that we consider an international tax at a fair rate on financial transactions. A tax that could promote global sustainable development and advance the principles of social justice and solidarity. We are called to remember the revolutionary power of a forward-looking imagination that can look at the possibilities already present and can guide us toward a new future. Today here at Occupy Edmonton, here and at other gatherings around the world, we need to be clear and articulate about what we're saying no to. But even more, we need to dare to imagine a future, future with possibilities of what we want to say yes to, a world more just, a world more truly respectful of the common good, the common good that affects all people. Thank you very much for inviting me to be part of our rally today.